So improvement comes in two ways, in my opinion. The first one is muscle memory. This is, this part is like irrational. It just comes from doing the same thing over and over and over and over. If you draw, you know, eyes, you're gonna like turn it into a mechanical activity, right? You don't need to think about it anymore. And this improves, like you can improve your muscle memory. The second one is a mental thing. And this is like the most important thing. This is what's gonna make you improve. Because like, if you're just drawing something and not thinking about what you're doing, you can improve your muscle memory, sure, but you will not improve your mental. And like, you won't be able to learn new things unless you put your mind to it. For example, I've got this. If I trace it, you know, I'm not, even if I just trace like a sketch, I'm not doing any like mental gymnastics here, right? I, I'm not thinking. The answer is already here. And even if I learn something, I'm not gonna be learning a lot because the work is already done. Like, you don't have to think about the perspective of this arm here. You don't have to think of foreshortening or anything like that because it's already done for you, right? You know, it's literally like, you, you, I didn't have to think about it. Therefore, it's not going to stick on my mental. My brain is not going to learn how to draw Mewtwo, you know, or how to draw this specific image of Mewtwo. However, on the other hand, if I try to draw this image of Mewtwo like myself, I need to think, right? I need to use my brain. Like, oh, okay, so what's the distance between this year and the forehead? Okay, it's around this, so the other year must be around here. And even if the result is not as similar, you are learning because you are thinking, okay, so I do it like this, and then there's like this little, there's, there's like this little, curve here and what is this curve for oh i see it's like his jaw right so you go and you understand that this is how his jaw works and now like how does the eye relate to the size of the head you know it's it's stuff that you have to put your mind to it right you have to think about it and even if it doesn't look perfect right like compared to the traced one it's not gonna look exactly the same that's okay because at least you are putting like your brain, you are putting your mind to the test and you are learning stuff from here. You know, you try to think how big should this hand be from the distance to the body and why, why, why does the arm look like this? Like what is this line? Oh, this line is the arm. You know, this kind of stuff is stuff that you don't learn by tracing. See, now I, I realize that this is way too close, so I need to make it more far. And this is the stuff you don't realize by tracing, right? Because by tracing, even if you even if you go and draw like guidelines and stuff like that, even if you learn, I'm not saying you don't learn at all by doing this, but even if you do like the, the guidelines, you know, and that kind of thing, I think by doing this, by copying and, and by actively going, what is the artist thinking? Like, why did the artist do this? You know, why did the artist do this, this little curve here? Or why did the artist add this line? What does this mean? Oh, maybe this line connects to this one and that's why it's there, you know? That kind of stuff is what you should be looking for when you're practicing. This is the kind of stuff you should be looking for. It should be, wait, maybe this, maybe this relates to the eyebrow. Oh wow, see, the eyebrow relates to the year and that's why this one connects here because this connects to this the same way this connects to this like this is the kind of stuff that you can do this by tracing you, you can you can do this like exercise instead of tracing in my opinion instead of just tracing an image in my opinion you could be doing this exercise or better do it yourself you know like copy it on the side do something else and try to like figure out these relationships like between lines and between things on your own because you're going to improve just like a lot more and you should always like the number one priority is practicing your mental is thinking what is the artist thinking when they make this decision because everything we do is decision making you know the, the this line is decision making like it, it's just like a bunch of this is just decision making why is the eye this size and not like a different size why is the eye this shape and not this shape you know, like there's just a lot of different decision-making skills that go into drawing in general. And by tracing, you are kind of removing yourself from this, this, like you, you are, you are removing a step of the way, which is the mental part. Sure, you're practicing your muscle memory, but by practicing muscle memory, you're not going to be learning anything new. You will only learn new things if you try new things and if you try to learn from other people. Like the, the most important thing to learn how to draw or to learn how to do anything is by putting your mind to it, you know, is by using your brain. It's literally pattern recognition. That, that's all it is. And in my opinion, tracing, 
not using your brain. You're not really, you're not using your brain, you're just like drawing over stuff that is already there. Sure, you can like, you can try to study through like tracing and I think that's probably good. I think that's probably a good way to improve, but it's never gonna be better than trying to like recreate it yourself. That's my, that's my opinion.